I'm doing Depth vs. Heard, pop culture, entertainment, things like that. This here is from the New York Times. It's called Angelina Jolie Details Abuse Allegations Against Brad Pitt in Countersuit. So Angelina Jolie is going to drop some allegations I've never heard. That's why I want to go over it. This article is pretty new. It's from October 4th, and they updated it October 5th. It says, in court papers related to a legal battle over a French winery they once owned together, she claims that he was abusive to her and their children during a 2016 plane ride. Now, you could believe who you want to believe, but until we see some kind of evidence to prove what someone's saying, I don't think anyone should get any kind of punishment, work-wise, movie role-wise, that kind of thing. That's the first thing I'll say. Angelina Jolie filed a cross-complaint against her ex-husband Brad Pitt on Tuesday disclosing new details about what she described in court papers as abusive behavior by him on a private plane in 2016 that led to the dissolution of their marriage. And what they say here is kind of interesting. They say that Angelina Jolie could not talk about abuse allegations in the winery dispute because I'm going to assume it wasn't related to anything going on with the winery. So that makes sense. She also claims non-physical abuse, which I think is a really slippery slope and something really tough to prove in court. I think I've gone through some. Look, I think most of us have had some kind of emotional abuse from somebody who's negative or they might be negative because you're the one that actually does need to change. It's not always that someone's like emotionally and verbally abusive because you're perfect and doing everything right. Sometimes they're frustrated with you, but they can't help you in the right way. So it turns out insultive. So if you get my drift, I think it's pretty complicated. I know in my case, I say, well, I take some verbal abuse and I do. It's beyond the normal, you know, yelling and things like that. There's definitely some wicked things said. However, I'm not a perfect person. I do a lot of things wrong. So I can see how some of it comes out rightfully, just not all of it. Once again, it's real complicated as far as verbal and emotional. I think it's really the physical abuse that you can prove that we could say for sure. So I'd mostly stick with that. Her filing goes on to describe an extended physical and verbal outburst in September 2016 as Mr. Pitt Miss Jolie and their six children flew from France to California. So is there actually something illegal about a verbal outburst? Is there any kind of law anywhere in any state in the U.S. that says verbal outbursts are abusive or illegal? I don't know. Someone losing their temper to me just doesn't seem like something that's absolutely wrong or needs to be punished or anything like that. Pitt choked one of the children and struck another in the face. Well, that's a real serious allegation there. And grabbed Jolie by the head and shook her. The filing states, adding that at one point he poured beer on Jolie. At another, he poured beer and red wine on the children. Very vague statement, by the way. I think he's got like four or five kids or something. So like, was it on their legs, over their head, on their chest? All right. I guess they'll have that detail in court, but I don't know, for the New York Times, just saying. Federal authorities who have jurisdiction over flights investigated the incident but declined to bring criminal charges. Days after the plane trip, Ms. Jolie filed for divorce. Now, I will say this. If you spill beer and wine on a pretty small private jet, there's going to be stains. When you land, if that was investigated, they should have immediately saw stains all over, wet clothes, and things like that. That's not too hard to prove. And if he struck a kid in the face, I guess there would probably be some kind of bruising. I don't know how long the flight was, but I don't think these private jets are like six, eight, ten hour flights. They're probably pretty short flights. I'm not a pilot. I don't know for sure, but I'm imagining the smaller planes take smaller flights. But even so, even on like a 10 hour plane ride, Beer and wines aren't going to dry immediately. You'd still have to put them in the laundry or a drying machine or something like that. There should still be evidence. And you've also got like your cell phones take a picture. A divorce lawyer for Mr. Pitt and Keeley said that Mr. Pitt had accepted responsibility for some things in his past, but
but that he would not accept responsibility for things he did not do. Yeah, I mean, if he's going to be honest and say things about his past, those are some points for him. So I got to see what Angelina Jolie says about her past. If she plays the perfect person, never did anything wrong, I don't know. Going to have to hear more. But I do like that he admits certain wrongs in his past. I think most people have done wrong things. But when you don't admit that and you only want to have the good things for you showcased, well, then you look like someone else we saw in Virginia doing that same thing. And it wasn't Johnny. It was the Mara person. And they give some details about the winery, which I'm not going to go over. I'm not super interested in it. And a dispute over a winery is like really, really separated from what we're talking about as far as allegations here. Miss Jolie's cross complaint said she only sold her stake elsewhere after talks broke out over his demand for a non disclosure agreement. Her filing states that the FBI agent who investigated allegations that Mr. Pitt physically assaulted Miss Jolie and their children on the plane in 2016 had concluded that the government had probable cause to charge Pitt with a federal crime for his conduct that day. A redacted FBI report on the case, which was reported on several news outlets in August and later obtained by the New York Times, states that the agent provided the United States Attorney's Office copies of a probable cause statement related to this incident. All right, got to know more on that. But wait, there is more. After reviewing the document, representative of the United States Attorney's Office discussed the merits of this investigation with the case agent. The report said it was agreed by all parties that criminal charges in this case would not be pursued due to several factors. One of those factors, I'm going to take a wild guess here, is not enough evidence once again. Then they go on to say that Angelina Jolie has done everything to shield her children from Brad Pitt, which obviously is trying to make her look like the good guy. Or she's trying to make herself, and her team's trying to make herself look like the good guy. Now you might be saying, well, the woman can't be wrong every time, and you're right. Maybe in this world, women are right more than men. 60%, 65%, something like that. I don't know. But the fact is, I can't say, well, I'm on Johnny's side. I'm on Marilyn Manson's side. So I'll just take Brad Pitt's side. It doesn't work like that. I take the side where the evidence is. Right now, there's nothing here. So I'll be neutral. I don't know. I don't know Brad Pitt much. I don't know her so much, but looking at the facts and the evidence, so far, I can't take a side. And by not taking her side doesn't mean I'm against women. It just means I've got to see evidence before I take anyone's side. That's all it is. It's not misogyny. It's the need to see evidence and know the facts. And if you think that's misogyny, well, I think you've got the definition wrong and you're not quite understanding what's going on as far as actually being fair. Once again, they say that he grabbed her and shook her head and that he punched the ceiling of the plane numerous times. I guess he did that. I'm real nervous flying. I don't want to touch anything. You know, I like close my tray for my food lightly because I don't want the plane to start shaking around because of what I'm doing. So I don't know, man. <laughs> like thinking someone's going to start punching the jet ceiling, I guess. When one of the children came to Miss Jolie's defense, the court paper said Mr. Pitt lunged the child, prompting her to grab him from behind. Amid the altercation, Mr. Pitt choked one of the children and struck another in the face, the suit said. So, if his son got in between it and he did start actually choking him, I'm assuming the son, I, I think that's who it is, and he was choking him. He just randomly went and punched another kid for no reason. Okay. Explain that, please. Anyway, all in all, some serious allegations here. Once again, zero evidence. So I got to say, waiting for more. And that's it. Let me know what you think down below. Doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. If you don't subscribe here, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. Done here for now. See you next time.